the South. He said New York, so you know what that means. Everybody's aggressive as fuck. Um, I actually got off the subway the other day and I was yawning because I was tired. Uh, and a guy just walked by me, he goes, yeah, I'll put it in your mouth. Um, <laughs> I was like, excuse me. And he kept going. He was like, that's okay, I'll put it in my mouth too. I was like, what's your end game here, sir? <laughs> What are we doing? He's like, you suck big, I suck big. Let's make some kids. I'm like, that's not how it works. <laughs> I asked questions in sex ed. <laughs> New York's crazy. I was living in LA previously, so LA and New York, very different towns. In New York, people walk around eating in public. Like, it's crazy. You can get anything you want just on the street. Pretzels, pizza. I never saw anybody in LA eat a day in my life. I worked at a fucking restaurant. <laughs> Like, what are you guys doing with it? They're like, we're blending it, we're blending it, we're wearing stretch pants, we're drinking. I was like, oh my God, they're like, we can't bulge out in the Lululemons. It's just camel toes all over Santa Monica, you have no idea. Not me, when I wear stretch pants, I dress to the left, I throw both lips to one side, so. <laughs> Little vag nugget, just like, hey guys. New York has been good to me so far. Um, uh, besides eating all the time, I got a boyfriend. Um, yeah, so I, no, 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 it's new. So I haven't farted since January. So do you know where I'm at? I don't know why, like it doesn't, I feel like as a lady, like when I'm sitting down and I fart, it goes through the front, it's like a low powered vibrator. I'm like, ah, <laughs> like what can I eat to get gassy enough? <laughs> Get off on this subway ride. <laughs> While maintaining eye contact with a small Asian man, that's how I come. <laughs> He's a nice guy, too. He's in, it's like weird, like, you know, like, it's so like that, not that I'm not a nice girl, I'm fucking not, actually, forget it. I just said anything like that. But he's a nice guy, and he actually, it's getting serious because he met my dad for the first time. And I think when I was younger, you know, like my dad would get all puffy chested. He'd be like, oh, you're the guy that's fucking my daughter. <laughs> and now, like, I'm 33, I have gray hairs. He's like, please fuck my daughter. <laughs> like, I really don't want her. <laughs> he's nice, though. Like, I'm used to, I don't know if anybody else is on my level. Like, I'm used to dating guys that are such big assholes that you can't like entire things because of them after. <laughs> You know? Like you dated a guy that plays soccer, guess who doesn't fucking like soccer anymore? <laughs> I dated a guy who cheated on me with a girl from Oregon, guess who's never going to Oregon? <laughs> That's where the whores live. <laughs> Not gonna do it. It's nice dating though, uh, also because I mean I was single for a really long time, and I don't I don't miss not being single um, because it was very weird. My parents started dating, like they got into a second relationship, and I was still just like fucking twiddling my thumbs, like any day now it's gonna happen. And they're like, okay, work harder on yourself. Um, <laughs> but so my parents are dating, but it's really interesting because they decided my dad is actually dating an Asian woman, and my mom is dating a black guy. I was like, well, I'm a comic, thanks very much. Um, <laughs> but, you know, it's because it's not like they hated each other enough to go gay. They were just like, oh, bigger dick, smaller hole, okay. <laughs> the black guy clapped, relax in the back. dating scares the shit out of me. We actually met, like we were friends, so we met kind of uh, the, r the real way, I guess. But I guess the internet is the real way now, right? Like, I mean, that's what people are doing. We have so much power in this fucking finger these days. Like this, like this, the tin, this, this thing right here, like this used to mean like it was your fault. You were getting fingerprinted, you were going to jail, and now it's like, what are you gonna eat? What are you not gonna be inside of you later? Like it's insane <laughs> power. I'm telling you, it's power. I'm actually, I'm excited though because I tried online dating for one second because I thought I was ready. And uh, you know, everybody wants to be the most like active date, you know? So the guy was like, let's go ice skating. And I was like, Ugh, okay. <laughs> it's the worst date you could ever go on because it's really hard to find a man sexy after you've watched him struggle to stand up for 30 <laughs> minutes. She's like, I'm like, I don't want to fuck a baby deer. Let's make those legs work. <laughs> you guys, on the flip side of this argument, what if he could ice skate? <laughs> Could you imagine a guy takes you on a date and all of a sudden he's like, come on, it's easy. You're like
like, whoa, I was sorely mistaken. I'm gonna take this hot chocolate on the road, faggot. I gotta go. All right, enjoy the rest of your show. You guys see you later. Bye.